So one Monday when I'm reading a newspaper, I see a news report which said that Kitex Group has decided to exit Kerala and they are taking their investment proposal of 3,500 crores uh, somewhere else. It did not say where, it just said they are moving out of Kerala. So I just immediately clicked the picture, sent it to my dear friend, my principal secretary Jayesh Ranjan. I said, Jayesh bhai, kaam karo. Please reach, to Mr. reach out to Mr. Sabu Jacob because I want to talk to him. So this was on a Monday. So I'm giving you a chronology so that you understand it. Somehow Jayesh, using all his, you know, five, four, six degrees of separation, somehow managed to find out Mr. Jacob's number. So in the evening he text, texted me saying, uh, sir, uh, I think I have his number. Would you like to send him a text? So I said, fine, I'll send him a text. Then I sent uh, Mr. Jacob a text message saying, sir, I'm KT Ramarao. I'm the Minister for Industry, Government of Telangana. I would like to speak to you. He didn't respond. So I figured uh, he's not interested or maybe he's just uh, not sure whether it is, a, it is actually the minister or somebody else. Then somehow Jayesh convinced him that it is actually the minister who's trying to reach you. So next afternoon on Tuesday, we had a conference call. Myself, Jayesh Ranjan and Mr. Jacob. So Mr. Jacob, you know, that was my first conversation with him. So when I was explaining to him all the wonderful things about Telangana, uh, I was basically telling him about the ease of doing business, the mental peace that you would have in Telangana, no harakiri in terms of, uh, uh, you know, bureaucracy, the government is easy to deal with, very progressive policies, our textile and apparel policy and how we are very interested in generating employment, etc., etc. Mr. Jacob was very agitated. He was very agitated because I'm sure he has received already many calls from many governments. So he wasn't too sure that... Uh, you know, this government uh, really means anything because, you know, everybody is sweet in the first call, second call. So he must have thought even this guy is, you know, doing something similar. So as part of the conversation, I told him one thing. I said, listen, <coughs> sir, uh, you know, if you, because since we are on the phone, since this is all virtual, I want you to come to Hyderabad. I want you to experience Hyderabad. I want you to see because in my humble opinion, because I talk for a living, I'm a politician, so I talk for a living. That's my job. I told him seeing is believing, right? So please come down to Hyderabad, sir. We'll be more than happy to showcase Telangana for you, you know, Warangal, Hyderabad, and showcase the various opportunities. So he said, but sir, you know, there is COVID. So for me to fly out of Kochi, I'll have to, so I told him, please come this week. So he says, uh, I'll have to think it over because, you know, scheduling, flights, etc., etc. So immediately, instantaneously, without thinking, I said, uh, why don't I send you a flight? Why don't I actually send you a special flight so that you can come with your team? So he said, he was taken aback. He was surprised. He said, are you serious? I said, I'm very serious. So we spoke on a Tuesday. He was here on Friday or Thursday, I think it was Friday. He was here on Friday morning. He landed at uh, Begumpet by 11 o'clock. As soon as he landed, we met almost for an hour and a half. And then we actually had lunch together. Then he flew out to Warangal and uh, he saw the location. He came back in the evening, landed in Begumpet again and came straight to me. He said, sir, when, he, when I came in today to uh, Telangana, when I flew in today to Telangana, I did not make up my mind. I did not think that I would actually announce. But today after seeing your officers, yourself, your state and the way you have received me, because I believe personally that it's not just about investment, it's about respect, trust, it's more about you know, the value that I add and the value that I bring to the table and how I am received in a specific state. So I am very impressed. He said, while I may not be able to commit to the entire amount, because of your gesture, because of your government's willingness, today I am going to announce 1,000 crores of investment and 4,000 employment that I will create in Warangal is what he told me. This was, I think, a month and a half ago. June it was. June. In fact, funny thing is, he announced 1,000 crores of investment. And next morning he went to, um, you know, Rangaredi district, uh, Chandanvelli and Sitarampur. He liked it so much. He said, uh, you know, Varangal, of course I liked, but I like the second location also. And I would want to invest more here. So I'm happy to share with you today what started as a very, very interesting conversation on the phone. Today has translated into 2,400 crores of investment in the state of Telangana in two locations. And most important, most important is it is going to create direct employment to 22,000 Telangana locals and out of which again 85 to 90 percent would be our women employees uh, in this sector. Even equally important is the direct employment is 22,000. The indirect employment they would be creating 
is almost 18,000. So altogether in these two locations, Sitarampur and Varangal, they would be investing 2400 crores of rupees and they would be, like he pointed out, they are a world class company which believes that no employees should be exploited. So they will do everything that they can to take care of their employees, provident fund, insurance, in fact he talked about food security which is going beyond the brief. All of these things they are already doing in Cochin in their, uh, in their factory. A lot of my Malayali friends are joking. Uh, you know, a couple of my reporter friends also had tweeted and uh, also tagged me. Had said, uh, 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 there was a doubt so long, you know, uh, 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 for uh, the family back in, for their family back in Kerala, for my Malayali friends here, whether Hyderabad was in Telangana or Andhra. But after Kitek's story, now everybody knows the name Telangana in Kerala. So I'm very, very happy that uh, we have become popular in Kerala and I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll have more and more entrepreneurs joining us in Telangana. So thank you very much.